morning. Today is February 19th and we are reading from the New Living Translation, the Bible. And so God told me Psalms 24. Now here's the thing, I thought I already read Psalms 24 and I was like, God, didn't I do this already? And I was looking on my YouTube and everything and seeing if I did that and it doesn't matter. God's like, somebody needs to hear it. So somebody needs to hear this. So we're doing Psalms 24. And um, okay, I'll just get into it. It says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have the right relationship with God, their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. Open up the ancient gates, open up the ancient doors, and let the King's glory enter. Who is King of glory? The Lord of strong and mighty, the Lord invincible in battle. Open up the ancient gates, open up the ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is King of glory? The Lord of heaven armies is King of glory. I, I really think I read this before. To, to you. But um, again, this is God's plan, not my plan. This is not the Liz show, it's the God show, right? Um, okay, so we're going to break this down. And, uh, you know, there's some really good stuff in here. And I never read this psalm before. I mean, I read it. I mean, it's highlighted, but I, I don't know it by heart. It's not one of my by heart ones. Okay. It says, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. The devil wants to try and deter you from this. Like, the devil wants to be like, oh, no, this is mine. Everything belongs to God. You got to get that in your head. Everything belongs to God. Everything. All this, everything belongs to God. Right? For he laid the earth's foundation and the, of the seas, on the seas, and built it on the ocean depths. Everything is God's. None, none of this is, Satan has no authority, nothing. You understand that, right? Satan has no authority. Somebody told me, like, I think a couple weeks ago, right, that, you know, Satan has authority. I was like, rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Satan does not have any authority. None. He, nope. Uh-uh. Not today and not any day, right? Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in the holy place? Only those who have hands and hearts are pure. Their hands and hearts are pure. Who do not worship idols and never tell lies. God has a few select people, right? Not every one of us is going to get heaven. Okay? And we have to realize that because we have to be pure. We have to be pure. And pure, pure is the, the purest form. What do you think when you think of pure? Because a lot of us, you know, we all sin. First of all, we all sin. And it hurts my soul when I see people, um, and I think this is the Holy Spirit in me, because it hurts my soul when, you know, somebody says they're pure and they're not. They're just not pure. And I'm not a judge. I'm not a judge. I can't judge. I, I have no authority on that. But when I see somebody doing wrong or when they're, like, deep in sin, but they say that they are with God, it's like, no, you're not. You're, you're not with God. That is not a godly trait. So to get pure, I look at it like, would Jesus do it? If Jesus ain't going to do it, you shouldn't do it. Mm -mm -mm. No, if Jesus doesn't do it, you should not do it because that is not a pure heart. And when you have anger and you have bitterness and, you know, pride, are those Jesus traits? Those are not Jesus traits, right? They are not. So you got to remember, you have to have a pure heart to get to heaven. That's what it is.
he he got it pure, all the way pure. And again, we still sin. But you have to be as pure as you can be. Okay, that's that's so important. It really is. Um, they will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God, their Savior. Such people may ask, may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. And so, you know, we seek God and we will be in his presence. We will, because we have pure hearts. And then this is just praising God. This part right here, open up the ancient gates. Open up the ancient gates and let the king of glory enter. Who is king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, invincible in battle. God got us, right? Because we we try to do these battles on our own. We, we try. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to fight those demons myself. Seriously, you can't fight demons by yourself. I don't know who you think you are because you can't. I can't. You can't. No, we need God to fight our battles for us. That's how we fight the battle. Open up the ancient gates. Open up the ancient gates and let the king of glory in. enter. Who is king of glory? The Lord heaven armies is the king of glory. God is king. God is king. You, you know that God is king. And so funny. Maybe I dreamt that I read this. I don't know. It's so weird. I really thought I read this already to you. I do. Um, and it's such, I love the Psalms. I love Psalms. I love when God says, you know, hey, read a Psalm. I'm like, yay, a Psalm. Um, but really, this is about purity and being pure. You know, you have to be pure. You, you have to have the Holy Spirit live in you. You have to, like, give up so much in order to be pure in God's eyes. You do. You really, really do. And a lot of times we get it wrong because, man, we want to do what we want to do, right? We're like, well, I can be partly God and partly the world. Eh, 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 eh. You cannot. No. What you have to do is give everything over to God, like all of it, and your whole entire soul and being. Because you cannot serve two masters. You know that, right? You know that. So whatever it is you're going through, whatever you need to do, you need to get it right. You know, because you don't know how much time you have. And you have to get this right. I love you.